everybody, Elisa here with another Vera Bradley bag of the day. Um, apologies as, as usual for the dog chewing noises. <laughs> I, I see her in the background there, chewing away. Um, <laughs> I will talk over the chewing noises, but I thought people would like to get a look at Hummingbird Park. Um, and the light, uh, I feel like the light is still okay still workable where I am right now, so we'll see how this goes. Um, this this is going to seem like an obscene amount of stuff, because it is, um, but this is when it really pay all my saving up all my credit card points for um, gift cards really pays off. And this is what I've been, I've been waiting for this pattern for a year, so um, I managed to get all this without really breaking the bank, and I'm very grateful for that. So, uh, this is from Hallmark and my signature store, and uh, I'll just start with the thing I really w wanted so badly, which is the Vera tote. Um, it has trim, and there are hummingbirds in the trim. Um, and it, it, this thing is just beautiful. And, uh, this is the first thing I got, and I uh, just immediately felt relieved. Just like, okay, it's over. It's finally over. <laughs> Anticipating this pattern, waiting for this pattern. Um, and, you know, when I had, I, in a previous video, I had mentioned that I had just happened to be in the store making a return when the sales associate there told, was unpacking a shipment of Hummingbird Park stuff, and um, she was saying she was encouraged. She thought it might not be too difficult to find hummingbirds. Well, it's still kind of a challenge because, as I'm always saying, you know, when they make these patterns with animals in them, it would be nice if they didn't space them so far apart in an overall pattern repeat because there, there's a, a high chance that you're going to, you could find bags and smaller items with no birds, but even big bags. Um, I, I saw bags in other locations that only had one bird. You know, this one has a number of birds, and so I, I jumped on it. Um, I really wanted, I really wanted a bird on the front pocket. Got it there, and there's another one here. And what's nice about it here is that when I put the bag on, my arm doesn't cover it. Sometimes when it's, things are too high up here, depending on where they are, my arm covers it, and so it's kind of pointless. So, you know, it's interesting though with this pattern that, you know, the uh, front pocket aside, this whole p th thing, this side of the bag, and going behind the pocket even, is one big piece of fabric. And so, you can see if you got a bird here, positioned nicely here, you don't get a bird anywhere else on this big piece of fabric, you know, if the pocket weren't there. That's a big piece of fabric. So, it really can make it a challenge. And on the back, I lucked. I feel again like lucky that there's a uh, a bird here and a bird here. So this again, one big piece of fabric. Yeah, this whole center panel then doesn't have any birds. You know, if if I had gotten a bird here, I bet you these two sides wouldn't have had birds. You know, that's how far apart they are. So I find that a little frustrating. But anyway. Having gotten that off my chest, put in a little bit of a bird there. It's just so beautiful. The trim, it, the background is this gorgeous pale kind of dove gray lavender kind of mix. And uh, it's not a cream color. And it's just gorgeous. And I, and I, here's a trim. The trim does have birds here as well. And the birds in the trim kind of pick up the birds in the lining. They look styled more like the birds in the lining, the hummingbird blooms um, pattern. That's also the reactive uh, pattern. I didn't get anything in reactive um, just because again it's hard to, I'm not crazy about the white background for an exterior pattern and it's hard to get birds I, you know i'm looking and I, I was looking at the reactive tote no birds but it looks kind of like this just the it's a little enlarged um, on the fabric and the fabric version of the bags which even again would make it even harder to get a bird 
there's the bird, which looks, you know, <laughs> see if I can see if I can manage this. Looks like the bird in the trim. You can sort of find the bird there in the trim. Um, but, you know, anything, any Virato with trim is going to be much more appealing to me than one without. Even though I have a, I have a ton of Viratos without the trim, too, because the pattern is beautiful. Um, anyway, you know, uh, just, just a beautiful, beautiful pattern. There's the lining. I mean, red balloons. It's pink and gray. And I've talked in the, about the color palette in, this, in the Hummingbird Park uh, version, the exterior pattern. And why I think it's so nice is that, again, it's playing with color wheel relationships. And I do think that uh, violet, I use the term violet rather than purple because violet is the term that's used when, you, when you're talking about color theory and the color wheel. A color wheel doesn't have purple on it, it has violet on it. And so, you know, violet and yellow um, are complementary colors that fall opposite each other on the color wheel, and so they enhance each other. And so that's why the little touches of yellow here pop nicely with purple, violet. <laughs> but also it's nice because you're getting some analogous colors, right? You're getting this whole range of violets into these sort of rose kind of colors. So on a color wheel, that arc is kind of, you know, those colors are contiguous. So it's moving from the violets, from, from the blues into the violets, into the reds and uh, pinks and, and reds and stuff. And, and so those are all related, analogous colors that are sort of more related and, and create a softer, more harmonious kind of overall feel in the color scheme. And so I, I think those two things are going on there with this pattern. And it's just lovely. You know, if you look at other, I should try to do this in another video, but I am feeling like there is a lot of relationship between these the these flower interpretations with other patterns. Um, I'm thinking of foxwood. I'm thinking of uh, garden dream. I'm thinking of uh, Mickey's colorful garden. I'm thinking of Bordeaux blooms. All of the big flower heads in those seem very related here. I, I think that there's some, um, even like Notting Hill, that exclusive, I do have a bag in that I've never shown, uh, that Crabtree and Evelyn exclusive. All these flower heads sort of seem like they're, they're related. There's a, there's a progression there, which is kind of nice. It's beautiful, really beautiful. And I just, like I said, I just feel like at peace now. <laughs> I have my, my Hummingbird Park Vera tote with the trim, really just, just beautiful. And this light is accurate or I wouldn't have made the video. I mean, it, to, this, this, it was important to me with this pattern to get the color right. And this is accurate. Really just great, great pattern. And the trim. This is a nice part of the pattern here, this swirl. Here. And I, something that was happening to me with Best in Show, which I, uh, I noticed, it also happens to me here. It happens to me a lot when there are patterns with animals, and I get very fixated either on the animal element itself, or on a particular animal. Like with Best in Show, it was particular dogs that I was focusing on to the exclusion of all uh, others, and then I had to start, sort of stop myself and realize, hey, you're missing out. All your stuff that you're buying is looking the same because you're always picking that same you know, a, pa a placement that's featuring that same part of the pattern. And so I sort of had to force myself to branch out. And that's what's happening here, too. I realize when you're always going for the bird, you're always getting the same parts of the pattern, and you miss out. I mean, this is really lovely, this whole thing, and this, too. But this this line here, you know, this swirling, like, S, gentle, like, S-curve line. Great, just great. And I love this. This reminds me of the color of my prom dress. A, a deep kind of violet with a gray undertone to sort of make it a little less 
Make it a little subtle, a little soft, soften it a bit. Make it a little mellow. These little details there on the flower center near the hummingbird. And these flowers that drop, you know, droop over. I always like flowers that look like that. Bluebells or um, Lily of the Valley. I mean, I'm sure there are many others I don't know the names of. I do notice that since they've recently, you know, you can sort of tell that this is a not the most recent way that they're doing the Vera Tote with the trim, you know, because they're making use of the solid color trim here, that piping, whereas now with their, the most recent Vera Totes, they're using the fabric, the patterned fabric also for the piping, which I do like. I, mean, I like them both, but I am liking that uh, version, and this doesn't have that because this was probably, you know, really literally produced, you know, last year before COVID, and then they, uh, you know, put a stop on it because everything sort of shut down. Even this part of the trim, these little dots on the trim, you know, are nice and delicate. Very, very pretty. That pale yellow on the inside of the, those flower cups. <laughs> So, got that. Um, so the other thing, one of the other things I, I knew I really wanted, hmm. well this I didn't really know I wanted, but I saw it. This is something I probably, you know, I would, I would have said, no, I don't really need one of those. <laughs> well, I don't need any of this, if we're being honest here. Um, this is a medium cosmetic, but I saw the burr on the front, well, I assume this is the front because it's where the zipper pocket is with the labels on the back. And then I flipped it over. I saw another hummingbird there. But it was so off center that it's nice because you're getting this, you know, force, you know, the focus is more this nice big flower head, which which is interesting. So I thought, okay, for my GPS. <laughs> I love this sort of paisley shape, like a, a narrow paisley shaped leaf with these flowers in it. That that deep grayish violet kind of color. Love that. Love that. And again, it looks sort of very sketchy, um, like it's hand drawn. I like it a lot. This one is lined in plastic. But there's the lining again. I may cut the lining, the plastic lining out of this pouch. Does that. Uh, then, uh, again, uh, something I wasn't really going to, it's not an item I use that much and wasn't going to get, but I saw the birds, uh, one on the front, another on the back. I said, oh god, okay. Well, I can repurpose it if I'm not going to use it as a wristlet. This is the uh, RFID wristlet. <clears throat> I do have one of these, I just don't use it that much because I'm so in love with the turn lock, but I could see using this as a wallet. And it does have, among its card slots and organization inside, it does have two uh, ID windows, which is what I love so much, one of the things I love so much about the turn lock. I also like that the lay flat section of the turn lock for easy access. This doesn't have that, you know, this is just a, a zipper that almost goes just like around half the, the outer edge. And then it's got that zipper pocket in the back. It's got, you know, I don't know, it must be about, I don't know, maybe eight, ten uh, card slots. And then, you know, you can slip bills straight, you know, on either side. You can slip a cell phone in here, my uh, iPhone 11 you know, fits in there with room to spare. So that's nice. Any item where you can put a phone in it and then just use that as your, you know, hold it in your hand as a clutch, I like. But I was thinking I might even use this for masks and stuff in, in my bag. If I don't find, if I find that I'm not using it as a, you know, a clutch. <clears throat> or I might return it. I mean, I, I, I find it hard to believe that I'll convince myself to return it with those birds, but that's always a possibility. <laughs> I come to my senses and say, okay, I can, I can pass on that. I can let that one go. 
So then I, I was feeling like, okay, I, I'm, I'm interested in uh, the tablet tamer, the tablet sleeve, because I I feel like they may be discontinuing the tablet tamer. Don't, I'm, not, I'm not basing that on anything. It's just it does seem like it's always coming out in every pattern. So, um, and I really like the one I have in French Paisley, and I've shown that in a video. So um, I, did, I did find one with a bird, uh, and I do like this item too because you get a nice look at at a big chunk of the pattern. Um, you can really see, just see how nicely these flower shapes relate in a placement. They relate to each other. Very nice. Again, you can see in the background, I've mentioned this before when I show my, uh, show my eyeglass cases in this, that the background is sort of two-tone with a shadow, almost like a shadow detail. So there's two tones in the background. No bird in the back, but I'm okay with that. If that great swirl, you only need one bird. Not to get greedy. <laughs> and this, this has a pleather handle thing on the side that I never use, and <laughs> unzips on three sides. Does like flat and fits my my larger iPad. I mean, I don't know if it, you know, my larger iPad is an older iPad. I think it might even be the first iPad or the second iPad. So they may be making them bigger now. I don't know if this would fit every larger iPad, but it does fit mine, and I just love it. it does have a, an ID window here, and you know various slip pockets and a zipper pocket, and a little bit of that, you know, the fabric, the lining fabric there. I love this color, gorgeous color, elegant color. Any kind of dove gray light lavender i always think are very elegant and lavender was my mother's favorite color so i'm sort of very partial to it and i think it's very flattering for most skin tones especially someone who's sort of more olivey like me um but i also love this color because i don't know if i've mentioned this i may have mentioned this when talking about this color before but when i was a kid i would always get these records out from the library that were um vincent price telling stories, reading um, ghost stories. And you know, everyone knows he had, had the perfect voice for that. And one of the stories on these, I would take these records out over and over. And one of these records had uh, a ghost story on it called The Lavender Evening Dress. And I just loved that one. Um, and so whenever I see lavender, I think about that. And, and it makes me sort of happy. And I recently did find that um, a recording of that online, like digital version of that album. So I downloaded it for myself, so I can listen to it now, <laughs> for for always. So along with it, with the tech theme, I noticed they were also doing that the tablet sleeve, and I did find the tablet sleeve, and so I did get that. I noticed the fabric is oriented different on the tablet sleeve here. So, you know, whereas this you would hold it this way to get the hummingbird upright. You know, here you're holding it this way, sort of on the side. And that reminds me, I should mention, that I did see fabric upside down, which is something I had noticed with Best in Show. And I wouldn't, you know, if you get a portion of the fabric where there's no bird, it doesn't matter, I think, because this fabric is so beautiful, this pattern is so beautiful, who cares which way the flowers are going, it works. But if there's a bird there, it sort of gives it away. And I did see a glenna. Front was beautiful with a bird. And I was thinking, wow, that's very frou-frou. It's very, like, girly, that bag. It may be too girly for me, but maybe I'll try it on, see how I look in the mirror. And I turned it around, and there was an upside-down bird. Um, so I'll post pictures on my Instagram. So <laughs> I just mentioned that as a, a tip for people. If you're looking at this stuff, look carefully. Um, so you don't get something that's upside down. I think the tag here, the cord of the hang tag is stuck in the zipper. Let's see if I can open it with not too much trouble. Uh, definitely have to cut that out. Yeah, again, the same lining. But I do like these tablet sleeves. Fit my larger iPad. Um, just very handy and I use them. I mean, I don't, sometimes I even use them for other things. But right now I am using it for my tablet, so like that. Again, look, there's that leaf I was talking about. All the little flowers in that leaf. Almost looks like a paisley to me. Well, 
more than that. And the color's coming out real well here for anyone who, at least on my screen, I mean, I don't know what it's going to look like on people's phones or their tablets or wherever, whatever they're watching the video on. But on my screen, it's coming out well. I hope it's coming out well for, for everybody. Um, okay. And I did, I was saying, well, I was just going to order this online, the masks, but I could see in here there was a bird on a pleated mask, so I got this. Uh, you know, I have said never again with their pleated masks until they make ear loops, because I'm so sick and tired of, of having to reconfigure the, um, the masks for myself. But I'll make an exception because i got to get the bird. I thought if I order it, you know, there's always a chance I won't get the bird, and then I can't return it. So there, there it is, smack in the center. I was thinking recently, because uh, my aunt, when I was younger, my aunt uh, was very crafty, and she was into making these Christmas wreaths that were like stuffed balls. I don't know if people know what I'm talking about. They have this kind of vintage look, and they're like fabric balls, you know, stuff with like, you know, cotton, uh, cotton balls. And then you stick them into like, I, I would imagine it's a foam wreath form underneath. And so it's just all of these like puffy balls. <laughs> I feel like I should, I should go watch uh, Saturday Night Live sweaty balls <laughs> episode now. I'm, I'm veering off into that territory. I don't mean to do that. Um, but anyway, I was thinking after this whole mask situation is over, hopefully one day, I might repurpose the mask fabric for something like that. So, uh, you know, I, I've been saying I'm not going to buy any more Vera masks, but I might have to reassess that. Because I can see it's very easy to, you know, rip out the stitching here and just be left with a nice piece of fabric you could use to make maybe a couple of the puffy puffs <laughs> for the wreath and of course the blooms. I already have the blooms and, and a fitted mask and, and most people probably already have that. Okay so I was and those were on sale. I think those were half off the masks. Um, well, I'll set that here. So you know I, I'm always talking about how I love the turn lock and I didn't see any turn locks with uh, birds. It was one upside down bird. Um, so I'm just going to wait. I mean, ultimately I, I'm, I'm thinking I might not get one with a bird on it and that's okay because the pattern is so pretty. So at some point I'll, I'll just get one. Um, but I'm going to wait for a little bit, see if I happen upon one with a bird. And if I don't, you know, I'll just get one. Uh, it doesn't really matter what part of the pattern you get. There's no bad part of this pattern. Um, but I did, uh, I do like this video, this, uh, item and I do have videos on it. It's the um, accordion wristlet. What are they calling it now? They used to call it the double accordion wristlet and they changed it I think sort of shortened the name. Yeah now it's just called the RFID accordion wristlet. I do like it because it has this sort of double gusset. You know it's got more sections inside. Not, not just two sections but three sections. So um, that's nice. So there's a little and a zip. I like the zip uh, pocket here. So I, a lot of, and this, that this slips open. So a lot of organizational options in here. Um, but why I go for this is because of the trim. And since they are, they don't seem to be, I mean, maybe at some point it'll show up, the, the, the 100. But I know there's a photo of it floating around on Amazon. I've been staring at it just like everybody else has, <laughs> longingly. Um, you know, maybe that was just a sample. Maybe they never really did a full production of that one. I don't know. But anyway, that's where I was hoping to get my item with the narrow band of trim. It's also on the T, the, the TZH. Um, but I don't really like that item, so I was not going to buy it. I do have a picture of one that I outpost. I saw in a store with a really good bird on it. Um, but this gets me a little bit of that small trim. And so that's why I went for this. And I like that flower there. And there's a bird. It's nice on the back too. This has a slip slip pocket on the back. Nice. It's nice when they use up the space here on either side of the trim with the big flower head taking up the space nicely. 
I will use this. Definitely will use this. It's just hard to break away from my um, turn locks. I do love the turn lock so much. And this has a pleather removable wristlet strap. That comes right off. As soon as I uh, <laughs> stop recording, that's coming right off. <laughs> uh, oh, and of course, my, I had to get a Carson cell phone crossbody. Use these all, every day. Um, found one with a bird. So I grabbed it and I didn't, you know, I didn't even notice. I was so obsessed with the birds. Didn't even notice it's got that nice swish there, that leaf that I like. This is nice on the back too. Like I said, you know, I, I, something happens to me and I just stop looking. I see the birds. That's all I can see, you know, and it's sort of, I frustrate myself. The back is nice too. And I didn't even notice that, you know, couldn't see the forest or the tree. So I just always take the, um, I take the strap off. I don't use it with the strap. Very pretty. These flower heads, these, uh, these here, very similar. These, they almost remind me of popcorn. Both the coloring and the way that they're drawn. I like them a lot. Very sweet. Getting to the end here, thank God. <laughs> Because this is obscene. This was a bag I knew that I wanted if they made it. I wasn't expecting them to make it in this because I thought, well, this is all a release from last year and this style didn't exist at that time. This is the multi compartment shoulder bag. I do have a couple of videos on this uh, style. And so when they loaded up the preview and I saw this was there, I thought, oh, well, they made good use of this year, you know making a few of the newer styles in this fabric. So that was nice. Uh, I also saw they had the tote bag there, which is something that you usually just see it. If you see it, it's at the independent retailers. So um, I did order that because I don't want to miss out on that. Um, and I didn't see it in the, in the signature store. Uh, so it was online. She was, you know, she was looking online. It's my favorite, you know, my favorite sales associate there. Um, Elise, who was helping me and uh, she said, I can order that for you, the tote bag. Uh, I said, oh, you don't have to bother, you know, I'll do it myself. But they don't have that in the store. Maybe they do at other stores, but they didn't have it at this store. And I got the feeling they don't have it in the store. So this one, I sort of, I, I said, okay, I'm going to branch out and not be so obsessed with the birds. They didn't have one with the birds. So I, this forced me to. But there are birds on the side. There's a bird here. And there's a bird here. On the, on the other side there, and on the back. There's no birds on the back. So I, I definitely feel like I had to talk myself into this, and I sort of put it up on the counter, and she was holding it for me for a while while I thought about it. Um, and I thought, well, I can always return it if I decide, you know, I, I, I'm frustrated that there isn't a bird smack on the side front there. <laughs> but I do like this. I thought this was very nicely placed for the front. And it's got this on the back, which I do, I'm, you know, I've just been talking about that. So um, I decided to try to branch out and stop being so, have so much tunnel vision with the birds. And so I um, was pleased, pleased to see this style, definitely pleased to see this style. And when I put it on in the store, uh, and I, I carry bags usually on my left shoulder, you know, this, this bird is visible, you know, to whoever's facing me. Um, so I like that. I like that this the front, what this edge of the bag, when this edge of the bag ha also has nice pattern placement, I like that for that reason. So anyway, you know, I, I've talked about the features of this bag. I, I like the structure of this bag because I have some leather bags, which I, I don't buy leather bags so much anymore. Um, you know, I still have the ones that I bought and I'll use them, but um, I don't buy any, haven't bought any new ones in a while, but it has this. So I have a couple of leather bags that are styled like this. One of which I did show in a video about this. It's a bot gear bag, uh, holster, holster bag, which I do like very much. And so it's sort of set up like that with these two uh, sort of slip pockets that have covered magnetic closures, and and they the magnets sort of find each other here, and then a middle zipper pocket. But I do talk about the features more in, in the other videos. It's nice that they're doing now with these covered magnets is that they are stitching around them to keep, I assume, to keep them more in place. 
And I like that because I did buy, I, mean, I haven't been buying so much vintage anymore. I'm, done, I'm sort of done with the vintage now. I, I'm, I'm tired of getting people's old stuff and having to deal with it smelling and cleaning it and all that stuff. Um, I don't know where these people are storing their bags, but they have such weird smells. <laughs> anyway, I did buy a saddle up once, which I decided is really not a good shape for me, size for me, but it has that, it's got a covered magnet closure, and the magnet was all out of place. I mean, it had completely, you know, slipped out of place in that flap, that front flap, um, and didn't meet up anymore. Then she just jumped down. I hate it when she does that. She's going to hurt herself. Yeah, you want to come back up now, huh? Or all of a sudden you can't get up there? <laughs> okay, puppy. Yesterday she was all jumping up there on her own, believe it or not. This is a high bed. Um, and she was she was making it up. Um, anyway, so it's nice that they're stitching those magnets in place now. So that won't, you know, hopefully that won't happen. Those magnets will stay where they're supposed to be and meet up easily. So I like that. I'm very pleased with this. They also had this in a mini sort of version that might have a crossbody strap. I'm not sure, but there is like a mini version of this. It's not the multi-strap shoulder bag thing, which I, I don't like. Um, it was a mini, more of a mini version of this, and it's super cute, but it's just a little too small for me. But anyway, I think that was it. Yes, it's just my receipts in there. Oh, and a coupon from Hallmark <laughs> that I probably won't be able to use on Vera. But anyway, that was it. Uh, Hummingbird Park. Um, I hope people found it helpful to get a little bit of a, a look at the fabric because it's gorgeous. I recommend it. I mean, I, I just think people will not be disappointed. It, it's so pretty. I would say give it a shot. You know, if you don't like it, you can always return it. But I think odds are you're probably going to like it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and hopefully see you next time on Vera Bradley Bag of the Day.